John Green made a video about his best of 2016, and Rosiana made a compilation, which was wonderful. So I mind mapped my list here of different moments. I just wanted to share some of the things I learned this year and some of the things I did. This year and last year, I journaled one page every single day. And half of this year, I vlogged and journaled one page. I just tried that out. I just wanted to vlog and capture stuff and see how it helped me reflect. And then along with that, I also journaled leadership image ideas, more big idea discussions than what I did on the Squarespace blog thing. It made a lot of what I was doing more in the spotlight so I could focus on the progress that I was making. Like the one goal I had this year with my brother was cooking. So we did three Home Chef meals, about three, every single week. We have VidCon 2016, in which I volunteered again. I went to New York State FCCLA State Conference and helped with photography there and summer leadership I went to. Both of my parents got remarried this year into much happier circumstances, which I find absolutely fascinating and wonderful. The other thing that was really cool is during the summer, we, my brother and I, participated in about four or five different picnics. We had a picnic to celebrate a graduating class. We had a work picnic. We had a family picnic. And then we had an apartment complex picnic. My brother and I have continued our adventure DVD game playing creations with Uncharted series and Tomb Raider and just enjoying the creation of stories and learning from stories. I continue to add to the UEHS Corral channel I build um, from my high school, all the concerts. I just passed over 300 concert songs on that. Settled into a nice Subaru car, which is fantastic as well. It's interesting though that the things that stick out in my mind, like it's not journaling every single day. It's not the small details of what I did. It's as I remember from Hank's video, it's the creations and the things that I blended together through community action. And most of the remarkable moments are about the relationships I've had with people in communities. I've got myself with the Roach Nerf Iteria and captioning and starting that project. And the project for Awesome was amazing this year. I experienced all, I ate all of it, except I had to catch up off five hours of sleep. My Greyhound video was featured. We featured the Roach Nerf Iteria video during the project for Awesome. We made it to Pizza Miss, the Internet Creators Guild, and Nerf Fighters Info and the content we've created on there. And then you also have the plans for NerdCon Nerdfighteria next year in February, which is not a thing I ever expected to be doing at this time of the year. And then all the YouTube things, VEDA, the Nerdfighter community, the creation of culture at such a frontier on the internet is so new and so fresh and just fascinating. That's just something that I've really appreciated this year. I think it's really good to have sort of sets in stone outlets for creativity throughout the year and what you're trying to accomplish and what you're trying to create. I've been reading a lot of Seth Godin and talking about creating things that are remarkable and trying to point those out and focus on those. I'm going to journal the last entry today for this year, but it's taken me a total of three different journals just to get one page every single day for a year. Here are my plans. The first thing I'm going to do is continue the one pager because I highly enjoy that and looking back. The cool thing is what I do during the day is I rewrite it a year ago or two years ago now and I also write the new page. If I keep that up, I can reread a year ago and write a page and I will never catch up with myself. The memorable, small, remarkable moments, or just simple moments indeed, go in this little low notebook right. On the Polkadot's channel, what I'm going to do is I'm going to talk about leadership images and remarkable ways of looking at the world and analogies because I think ideas are really, really important. And the first one is gonna be about awareness and the importance of awareness with one of my favorite symbols. That's what I'm doing on there and occasional videos on here because uh, bigger idea videos or more interactive videos, harder to work, harder to create, more effort, maybe more remarkable ones. I think a polka dot is a specific perspective and looking at the world or maybe a remarkable way of seeing an idea. Maybe it's a simple idea. Maybe it's a piece of advice. John Green is doing the 100 days thing on the 100 days channel, cute dog. And I think I'm gonna take part in that and challenge myself every single day to follow along with that. Might just put a whiteboard up where that map is. I'm really glad that I saw Moana at the end of the year. That was definitely a highlight of the year for me too. So what are you doing that you deem remarkable? What were your best memories of 2016 and why do they stand out? Why do they seem remarkable to you? I'm really curious to hear and find out what people are doing. So much of what I do is community oriented and feeling a part of something larger while being myself and all the thoughts from Hank's video about Nerdfighteria and the 10 years they're celebrating. It's so fascinating to me how we can form communities and how we can connect and how we can discuss ideas even when we aren't in the same place and build so much together and create so much that's remarkable. What have you seen or what have you created or took part in 
that you deem remarkable and why is it so valuable. So much of what has happened that's valuable and remarkable to me are things that I never even expected to happen. Keep being you, don't forget to be awesome, and I hope you've created some remarkable and plan to this upcoming year. Everybody pocket.